Did you know that cement is the second most used substance on Earth, right after water? It's the crucial ingredient that binds our skyscrapers, bridges, and roads together. However, this indispensable material carries a hefty environmental price. Cement production accounts for a staggering 8% of global carbon dioxide emissions. As we navigate our concrete jungles, it's clear that while cement builds our world, it's also a significant contributor to climate change. Every year, more than 2.5 billion tons of CO2 are released into the atmosphere from cement production alone. To put that into perspective, that's half a ton of cement for every person on the planet. As global populations grow, particularly in developing countries where infrastructure and housing are rapidly expanding, the demand for cement continues to soar. This escalating demand makes the challenge of decarbonizing cement one of the most urgent and difficult tasks in the global fight against climate change. Yet in the face of this daunting reality, a groundbreaking innovation from the University of Cambridge offers a glimmer of hope. Researchers have developed a revolutionary approach to cement production that could drastically reduce its environmental impact. This new method has the potential to pave the way for zero-emission cement, marking a significant step toward a more sustainable future. To truly appreciate this breakthrough, it's important to understand the role cement plays in construction. Cement is the key binding agent in concrete, providing the strength and durability that make our buildings, bridges, and roads possible. The most commonly used type of cement is Portland cement, which relies heavily on a substance known as clinker. Clinker is produced by heating limestone, calcium carbonate, along with other materials to extremely high temperatures in a kiln, a process that releases significant amounts of CO2 both from the chemical reaction and from the fossil fuels burned to achieve the required heat. The challenge of reducing emissions from cement production is twofold the CO2 released during the calcination of limestone, and the emissions from the energy-intensive process itself. This dual source of emissions has made the cement industry one of the most difficult to decarbonize, prompting scientists and engineers to seek innovative solutions. This is where Professor Julian Allwood and his team at the University of Cambridge come into the picture. They've developed a novel method that could lead to the world's first zero-emission cement, their process cleverly integrates cement production with the steel recycling process. By using recycled cement paste as a flux in steel furnaces, typically used to purify molten steel, the team has discovered a way to create new Portland cement with zero carbon emissions. Here's how it works. When old concrete structures are demolished, the concrete is crushed to separate the cement from other materials like sand and stones. This recycled cement paste is then introduced into a steel furnace during the recycling of steel. The furnace, which could be powered by renewable electricity in the future, uses this recycled paste instead of traditional flux, resulting in no CO2 emissions from the process. The molten material that forms on top of the steel during this process can be cooled to produce fresh Portland cement. This approach not only addresses the emissions from calcination, but also eliminates the need for fossil fuels in heating, making it a truly sustainable alternative. If successfully scaled, this technology could meet a significant portion of the UK's cement needs within a decade and has the potential for global adoption. The development of zero-emission cement represents a monumental step in the battle against climate change. While there are still challenges to overcome, including scaling up production and integrating this new method into existing industrial practices, the potential benefits are too significant to ignore. This innovation could drastically reduce the carbon footprint of the construction industry, paving the way for greener cities and a more sustainable future. As the demand for cement continues to grow, particularly in rapidly developing regions, the importance of finding low-carbon solutions cannot be overstated. The work being done at Cambridge offers a glimpse of what's possible when science, engineering, and environmental stewardship come together. In a world where the environmental cost of construction is becoming increasingly untenable, the advent of zero-emission cement is not just a breakthrough, it's a necessity. 
the journey to a sustainable future in construction is underway. And with innovations like this, we're not just building stronger, more resilient structures. We're building a greener, more sustainable world for generations to come.